The year, approximately 4.6 billion BC. Where today our solar system is found is at the time still a giant ball of primal matter. Over time, formations of matter begin to develop into clusters whose increasing gravitational pull draws more and more material into their sum. The sun, the planets, and their many moons are created and begin to rotate around the sun. However, there is also matter which has not been drawn to any of the celestial bodies already formed. This leads to the formation of the so-called asteroid belt. Overall, as many as 500,000 objects ranging in dimension from a few centimeters up to the size of a dwarf planet with a diameter of roughly 1,000 kilometers orbit the Sun and are located between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroids can be divided generally into three categories. Stone asteroids, known as chondrites, make up the largest share at 92%. The second most common, with 5.7%, are iron asteroids, such as ataxite, hexahedrite, or octahedrite. Only 1.5% are stone iron asteroids, better known as palisites. Due to their one-of-a-kind composition, only palisites are able to produce a gemstone, palavine. Normally, the individual asteroids are on a steady orbit around the Sun. Due to the enormous scope of the asteroid belt, they also have no contact with each other, since the individual asteroids are on an average several million miles apart. However, in extremely rare cases, the paths of two of these celestial bodies collide with each other, consequently throwing them out of their stable orbit. This is exactly what has happened to our palisite. It's now flying uncontrollably through space. The chance that precisely such a rare palisite is blasted out of its secure environment and collides with Earth after a trillion mile journey is so small that it cannot be expressed in numbers. And yet, it has happened. In the history of mankind, only 46 significant palisites have been found on our planet. Unfortunately, the gemstones in 45 of the 46 palisites are not superior enough for making jewelry due to numerous cracks probably occurring upon impact with our Earth. Cutting and faceting of the gemstones? Virtually impossible. Only a single meteorite worldwide ever produced gemstones possible to be cut and polished. The name, Japara. Its contents, one of the greatest treasures of human history. The oldest, most seldom gemstones that have ever been touched by man. No other gemstone has had as long a journey as the Palavine. No other gemstone has such a story to tell. And no other gemstone is so exclusive.